Book. Check. Snack. Check. Wine. Check. Let's discuss this bitch. This month we are reading Dark Fever by Karen Marie Monning. I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> I've been like waiting. Oh my goodness. I, so first of all, I just want to say welcome to our first discussion for book club. I'm very excited. Yes. Same. I- <laughs> Definitely have a lot to say about this book. <laughs> oh, this book. <laughs> so let's start with a character discussion. Sure. All right. Um, start off with Mac because Mac. Yeah. <laughs> wow. She is something. Wait. Somebody should describe Mac. <laughs> so. Oh, wait. Oh, go ahead. I, I should say we should just clarify which chapters we're covering today. Oh, yes. That, <laughs> that would be good. Minor details. Uh, <laughs> we're covering half the first half of the book, which is going to be chapters 1 through 13 today. And then next week we'll be covering chapters uh, 14 to the end, I think, what, 25 further? I don't, I don't know. I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. Okay. Anyways, move on. Wait, should we read a synopsis of the book? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, Z. All right. So I'll just read the description from Amazon. Michaela Lane's life is good. She has great friends, a decent job, and a car that breaks down only every other week or so. In other words, she's your perfectly ordinary 21st century woman, or so she thinks, until something extraordinary happens. When her sister is murdered, leaving a single clue to her death, a cryptic message on Mac's cell phone, Mac journeys to Ireland in search of answers. The quest to find her sister's killer draws her into a shadowy realm where nothing is as it seems, where good and evil wear the same treacherously seductive mask. She is soon faced with an even greater challenge, staying alive long enough to learn how to handle a power that she had no idea she possessed, a gift that allows her to see beyond the world of man into the dangerous realm of the fae. As Mac delves deeper into the mystery of her sister's death, her every move is shadowed by the dark, mysterious Jericho, a man with no past and only mockery for a future. As she begins to close in on the truth, the ruthless Flane, an elf of fae who makes sex an addiction for human women, (laughs) closes in on her. (laughs) And as the boundary between worlds begins to crumble, Mac's true mission becomes clear. Find the elusive Sinsardu. I think I said that right. Before someone else yeah. claims the all-powerful dark book. Because whoever gets to it first holds nothing less than complete control of the very fabric of both worlds in their hands. Oh, Z, I could listen to you read that whole book. If you read it like that. <laughs> yeah, so next time you'll be hearing Z just be an audiobook reader. Big rule. <laughs> All these guys. <laughs> Didn't mean to laugh in the middle of that, though. I don't know why. <laughs> Apparently, I'm the child of the group. Laugh no, when he no, no. sex. I, I, I was literally laughing. Like, I was like, oh. Yeah. I guess I could have muted. <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we can do our character discussion. And we'll start with Mac. Yes. Michaela Lane. <laughs> also known as Mac. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> also known as what do, you think? what do you guys think of her? Mm. I think she's super full of herself and it drives me insane. I don't need two pages of her waxing on and on about how pretty she is and giving minute details about stuff multiple times. Like, sure, one time, okay, let me get the image. But, like, every single time, nah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I think? I think? I think she is intentionally written that way or to have her thoughts, like, so scatterbrained and immature um yes yes <laughs> okay i, I will is i a- would want to say this is uh i thought she was 16 at by the yeah by the way she's written I, I yeah she's she what 21 22 22 
Yeah, she definitely has a very immature mind, just the way she speaks. And also, this book is written, so this is all past present, like past tense. She is talking about what had happened to her, and she's telling the story from and the future. It took me so much longer than it should have to realize that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just yeah, she's seen what she what happened. But I think too, I think too, the reason why she she appears that way in the beginning is because she was probably coddled as a child, and she was um, she <laughs> left she led a very sheltered, a very sheltered, a very um, she was like a spoiled to me. I wouldn't say a brat, but she, to I me, would. I, I from would. What, <laughs> I would. I didn't I didn't think that she was bratty. <laughs> But I think I she just, she just, she just, she was just very immature. She had no responsibilities. Um, everything was just uh, easygoing and smooth for her. Like she had no experience in real life situations at the time of her speaking but, about herself in the beginning of the book. No, that's not necessarily true because she said she worked in a bar before all this happened. Yes, yeah, she's yeah, very good at sweeping she, the floor. <laughs> <laughs> her words let me just tell you guys her words <laughs> she's very good at sweeping this floor <laughs> but I, I, I agree know. solely though I definitely think she was written that way on purpose because of a transformation that's going to happen yes just and make her horrible enough so we can hate her <laughs> and hopefully soon <laughs> Okay. Yeah. yeah. I hope that's yes. the case because this is the first uh, time I've yeah. ever read a book that I hated the main character. Yeah. I'm I'm having a hard time trying to get to the end of this book. I'm not gonna lie. Like right now at this point, I'm like, do I even finish this? <laughs> I will because we're doing a book discussion. But if it was just me, like I I'd probably put the book away and be like, No, I'm good. Is it is it because of the way Max character is written, Ash, or is it just like the style of the book? That's it's a little bit of both. So, um, I have a problem with the flow. She jumps around a lot, and to the point where I sometimes have a hard time following. Like, how did we get to this or this place or this situation? Like, you just kind of just jumped there out of nowhere. Um, at least to me, it feels like that happens quite a bit. And then also just like with Max character, the fact that I, she feels like she's so young and immature and very, she kind of contradicts herself sometimes, um, the way she acts and it, it drives me nuts. And it just, I, I want to know more about the other characters and I'm here, I'm just getting it more about her and as I say, the other big thing that drives me nuts is because she's telling it from a past tense or in a past tense form, she, the author, the way she writes it, she's like, oh, but we'll know later that was definitely wrong or that wasn't true. He lied to me. And I'm like, I don't want to know later. I just want to be in the moment kind of thing. And it, it just like kind of ruined the suspense that I was feeling um, towards certain characters, I'm like, oh, okay, well, you just ruined that for me. Thank you, author. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys had that same feeling. Yeah, no, I, I, I also had that same feeling where I was like, okay, you like totally took that mystery out of that. So now I kind of know the future, but I, I don't know. Like, it, it sometimes I forget that uh, it was past tense a lot of times too. And I think that's why I had like such a hard time catching on to it was her telling it from like mm. the present but uh, all yeah. of this happened in the past like I think that's why it took me a little longer to catch on because I was just like wait wait what what's going on <laughs> I I personally like because I haven't finished the book yet I feel like it would have been better if we just read it as it was happening to her versus her telling us what had happened um so that just my preference it's but. interesting though you said that she's like very contradictive and in yeah. my notes i wrote that she seems to be walking contradictions <laughs> she is it drives me nuts like she's fluffy and girly and preppy and then at the same time like when she needs to get a new phone she buys a basic no nokia because or nokia because she um doesn't text oh, no. like well, what apparently she has no friends <laughs> right <laughs> 
Yeah. And then another part, too, is in the first few chapters, she says that everyone around her seems to be moving on and that she can't do it. And then just a few pages later, she talks about how none of them are coping at all. So are they moving on or are they struggling to survive? Yeah. I think but that's... Indeed. I think she was talking more about her parents in that case. Right, but than... even but even later, like her mom's a mess. She's you know she's baking and sleeping. Like that's all she does. Her dad doesn't talk to her anymore. They don't have that same relationship that they had, so they're not coping. They're not moving on. No. I think see, I guess this part was a little different for me when she actually talks about the grief stages becoming from someone who's had a personal death in the family. And it definitely I I could relate more to her in these scenes because I'm like, yeah, that makes sense because it feels like when my parents were grieving, they still had to go to work and I took the time off, but they had to go to work and it was like, it felt like they were moving on, but realistically, like they'd come home and they would just be crying and upset. And so it, in moments, it feels like people are so moving on. So they had on. to put them on the facade. Yeah, yeah, they had to put on a face whilst they were out there. But when it's home, that's when the that's where the grief really settles in. Yeah, but it, I guess. grief is just this, it, it's one of those things that with grief you feel like you are so alone in it, and it's like yours and yours only. Even though many it's people, it's a shared are, experience. Yeah, yeah. So, but the the but moments of we, grief, I thought she did very well. Uh, I just thought she just really made it a point to say that everybody else around her was moving on and then just a few pages later she gives the proof that nobody is moving on and and i think this is where i have the problem with the past tense had the author written it as it was happening to her and she's like it feels like everybody's moving on and then later on she's like oh no mom's like still grieving right, it right. would have been recepted more but she's like past tense like everybody's just moving on but you know what? I'm just kidding. There, like, it just it doesn't make sense when you're you're telling the story. Like, unless she was saying like in that time, and she was specifically in that moment, it felt like everybody was moving on. She doesn't say it like that. She says, "Is it like a fact? Everybody's moving on." And you're like, "Wait, okay." <laughs> yeah, like it was just effect. confusing to me. No, definitely. Uh, I I did have a question, and maybe I missed it, and or, or maybe not. Did they actually ever say how the sister dies? And first half like other than she was murdered no no, no. that drives you have to me read on to that. okay <laughs> i was it's like a, it's a mystery not, <laughs> but that'd be like that was like my very first question was like uh how you like why get- did not talk <laughs> about that <laughs> I, I think it was mostly that she was murdered it was a gruesome murder in an alleyway yeah but that's, that's all yeah, yeah. That I think she's that was like the only description was it was like gruesome murder which, in an alley that which that is it. crazy to me because here again in past tense she's telling like the story and it's in the past like in that part I feel like she definitely could have told us like what like her sister was covered in a whole bunch of slash marks or strangled to death like it just it's driving me nuts not knowing <laughs> no, how the sister that- died. <laughs> That's why you have to continue reading on because it comes up later on. Because um, I think I think too because she's so vague about it. I mean, um, there is something fascinating in the macabre. So just knowing that 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 happened and you you don't know or she doesn't she doesn't reveal what's happening, it makes you want to find out more. So you end up reading. You end up reading on for you to find out exactly what. And it's always just <laughs> at the end. Like, you know, when you have something on the, just at the tip of your tongue and it just doesn't come out, that's how it is. It's always just at the tip of your, your, you know, of the pages of what's um, happening. But it does, nothing is said no, about it, just, it. It just pisses me off because we know she already <laughs> knows. So that's, it, it, it bugs me so much she's holding out on us (laughs) it's like it's one thing if the character doesn't know and so you're in the perspective with the character but she knows she's just not telling us it's just rude (laughs) (laughs) that's how I feel (laughs) so in the first in the first half of the book she meets um barons barons (sighs) 
<laughs> I think we all like birds. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I would have much preferred the story from his perspective. <laughs> Though when when I started this, I wasn't sure if I liked him yet or not. Yeah, I, definitely. Like Wait, I didn't, okay, I didn't know if I trusted Baron. him. Yeah, I, 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 I still don't trust him. So what I have for Barons is that I don't know if I like him yet. He's definitely more than he claims to be, and I feel like he either knows something about Elena's murder or he did it himself. Right now, Ooh. I'm leaning more towards he knows something. Yeah, and I, I mean, think that he's another selfish character. <laughs> No, you think? Yes. <laughs> but but he's a much more likable character because he doesn't pretend to be otherwise. Yeah, he's very like he's very he still has a mystery to himself, but at the same time he's like very straightforward. Like you don't get a flash. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, right. But <laughs> how asshole that you can't help but like? Right. Like, you don't like him, but you like him because yeah. <laughs> I don't. That's even how I. Him- I I was like, I don't even think he's an asshole. Like, I, he's just like doesn't have a lot to say, and he's got to get his business done. And if you're in the way, you're in the way. Like, right? I mean, he's very like. <laughs> there's just no like gray with him. He's like blood. this, this is what right. it's gonna be, and this is how I'm doing it. And you can either do it this way, or you can get the f out of my way. Yeah, yeah. Yes. that's why I said like he he's very like straightforward. Like, but still, he still has like a mystery to him. Oh, for sure. I'm not even sure he's human. I like right. He right. Keeps, like, there's some <laughs> stuff that's human, but I'm like, mm, are you? Are you really? Because you don't. You're not acting like it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I liked what you said, Z, about how you're like, well, maybe he killed. Oh, is it Alana? Is that the sister's uh, name? How do you say the name? Is it Alana? Alana. Alina. 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 Yeah, I didn't even like that. Never even crossed my mind. So I think that's a very interesting perspective that he may you th- like had a thought that maybe he had something to do with that. The thing right. is, there's so much mystery around him. Like he can be anyone, and he can be anyone in regards to any one of these that we have already said. He could be that um, that mystery man. He could be that non-human person. Uh, well, not person. You know that just not human. He could be the one who killed Alina. He could be um, uh, the savior Mac needs. He could. He, there's so many variables to him, and there's just this uncertainty about him. Right. Like later on in my notes, I wrote like Baron's name again, and I was like, I don't really know if he's a suspect anymore. He seems vicious, but he also seems surprising. I almost get a good guy vibe from him. Almost. He. It's just like I don't get a good vibe or a bad guy blah 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 bad guy vibe but he's just kind of like in the middle to I me like, I, I kind of I don't know for some reason I have like the suspicions that he's probably some type of fae really yeah that's kind of doesn't know it yet I don't know that's I, I he There's... gives me that hey because it's like there's something so not, more about him. He's definitely not yes. human. So or at least not liar. completely human. <laughs> you know, yeah, what makes me think this, too, again, is that uh, there is a time when he says, he says, um, your world, but he doesn't say our world. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So, yes, that makes me think, well, if it's our world and not yours, then, because he's not cloning in the, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Or is he... Oh, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I was just saying my other thought was maybe he was the same kind of species that Mac is. A what? Uh, Like, this... this, I don't know. I know I'm going to screw this up. The (laughs) Sidhis? Sidhis here? (laughs) Yeah, that's what I... Like, that was what I was looking for. Oh, Malusic? No, no, no. Barons. (laughs) Huh? We're still talking about barons. Yeah, we're still talking about you barons. Said, but like, yeah, but you said you said he's the same species as what? As Mac. She's oh, the she see ya. She see ya. She see. She see. She see ya. 
Shisia. She's a she Shisia. Huh. That's yeah. a tongue twister. Yeah. Part of me thinks that's what uh, Barons is. <laughs> well, you have to find out. <laughs> you have to find out. <laughs> because, yeah, we'll just see. We'll just see how that happens. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I, I do like the formality he keeps with her as well. And um, it, it, that's like keeping her at a distance to me. Yeah. That he just always calls her Miss Lee. Everything is Miss Lee. There's, there's this chemistry between the two of them, between Mark and, and Barons, I think. It's, it doesn't, we don't know yet if it is a romantic type or if it is just um, something that draws the two of them together. Like a mentor, but, mentor-y. Is that what you would yes, call being mentored? <laughs> yeah, there, there is something between the two of them. And um, I, always, I wondered too, if, do you think that they can subconsciously read each other's minds? Or is the connection between them so strong, strong that they can just tell or assume what the other is thinking by the looks on their faces? Because Ms. Michaela sometimes answers out loud what she assumed Baron has, has said or is thinking. And he does the same thing. I kind of wonder if there's like a, a mind reading element to their relationship. Wait, do you guys have an example of this? Because I completely missed that. Um, and maybe I chalked it up to because we're hearing the story from in past tense. It's like they literally just look at each other and then she she's all like, you know, what, what she thinks. Thinking. He's thinking. Yeah. And then like she has this full on conversation just by looking at him. And then, like, it turns around, and then... It usually happens in front of, like, Fiona. Yeah, yeah. It's usually... Yeah. Talking about Fiona, okay? Oh, my she's, God. Um, she, she's, um... She's a little whack job, okay? Just just say <laughs> Just throw it out there. Okay? Why do you think Fio- Fiona's a whack job? I, yeah, you know what? I have... For Fiona, I have, is she human? Something suspicious about her. I don't know whether she's... A human she's, like the Voltori secretaries, or if she's part of the Fae or a Shisier, but there's something yeah. about her that I don't trust. Fiona she, is little... Baron's assistant, right? Like the one that yeah. before. Okay, that's she, what I was she's, she's a little attached. Okay, just just a little Dockerish, just, just maybe a, just a little attached. Just a little, just you know, just she has that little stalker vibe going on. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have this feeling like she's been around like a very long time and so has he. Like almost in mortal status. I don't know if that's really yeah. Wrong, but that's like the vibe I get from them. And so they have this really strong relationship because of how long they've known each other. That's what I get. So yeah, I think it would make sense for her to be defensive and a little territorial over Barons when especially this ditzy Mac comes in and she's just kind of like Nobody a younger, like, <laughs> a younger yeah. girl coming in. Well, Mac's kind of rude, too. Like, I don't know. I, <laughs> no, Mac is rude. Like, <laughs> so I would not like Mac if Mac just showed up and I had to, like, help her. <laughs> I feel like, really? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't think Fiona's well, I, think... I think she has a very understandingly, like, real reaction no, I think I think Fiona has this underlying like she has this face that she puts on that's what it is to Mac like she's pretending that she's all um nice I'll help you out and stuff but at the back of at the back of it there is sinister purposes behind like she doesn't she she genuinely doesn't like Mac and then she's just pretending yeah, just no, for I, I don't get that pretending part at all. I think she's very upfront. Like, I don't like you, but because your relation with Barons, I will help you. She pretends in front of Barons. Yeah, she <laughs> pretends in front of Baron. You yeah, think she's so? Yeah. Of, yeah. I think yeah. she's a she, taller. Okay. I gotta she, read because this. Because I think she, 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 from everything I get from her, she wants Barons. She has this thing that she, she, she wants him. Or they have this thing going on between the two of them that it's not just assistant and yeah. um, manager or a boss or whatever. They have this underlying current thing going on between the two of them. Yeah. Well, people got needs. Come on, guys. 
don't know. <laughs> uh, Gabby, yeah, okay. I'll have to pay more attention to Fiona and, like, when Barons and Mac are talking in front of her. Because that, that's, like, all new to me. I'm like, what book have I been reading? Okay, what other characters? Uh, Prince Flane. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, my God. Like, okay. That... Hmm. Oh, uh, wait, I remember what I was going to say. Can we pause? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, it kind of pissed me off that, like, and we talked about how Mac and Barons have this chemistry, but we don't know what it is. But every time Mac talks about another person or a fae, she's like, oh, he's very attractive and good looking. But every time Barons is brought up and every description that we get of Barons, I'm like, this is a smoking hot dude. Like, right? come on. And she's right? like, uh, He's not my type, kind of. Like, she, like, disregards it every time or, like, in, I don't know, doesn't, like, she's in denial. And it drives me nuts. I'm like, really? <laughs> and I'm everybody you've talked about. Like, he seems like the smoking gun. Like, what are you doing? Okay, that's all I had to say about that. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It, I, yeah. It makes me mad that she, like, denies. He's, when she's like, oh, he's very good looking, but he's not my type. Like, I bitch, that's everybody's type. <laughs> right? Like, I don't know who Barons wouldn't be their type. <laughs> Dark, sexy, mysterious? Come on. Max, get your shit together. <laughs> Fiona even knows. <laughs> right? Uh, I'm just like, um, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, going from that to what's... The- Prince Blaine. Yeah. Oh? Uh? So... <laughs> his scene made me laugh like I actually laughed when I read yeah. this yeah no no and I, I, I... <laughs> and I picture him as being kind of like impish impish <laughs> explain <laughs> so Puck from um, Shakespeare apparently I'm uneducated so oh, yeah, Puck, <laughs> so Puck but, uh, is is Shakespeare is a Shakespeare character from A Midsummer Night's Dream. And he's oh, kind of like, he's mischievous fairy. He's a jester. He's like causing, like, you know, just like little mischievous things. And oh, that's just like kind of just how I feel. described a fairy. <laughs> right, well... <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, go on. Right, but he's just, he's very, a he just seems like a puckish character to me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I, I was just like, it explained. I just, I always picture him with this smirk. <laughs> right. Very puckish. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel like he's he's a trickster, too. And mm. as of right now, he's one of the only characters that I kind of like. Just his personality. There's... Like, he's very... I don't know. I don't know Wait, how to, okay. like, describe and... what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well... We've only had the one scene with him, right, so far, right? In yeah, yes, 13? exactly. And it was a very, I'm just going to say it. It's a, it was a very awkward scene, okay? Like, <laughs> yeah. I, okay. <laughs> okay. It's definitely so, a sex scene, yes. But in my mind, I kept thinking she was still a 16-year-old. Like, so, it was, <laughs> so it made it really awkward yeah <laughs> so it was a very awkward scene and then I remembered that she's supposed to be a 22 year old but in my mind she was a 16 yeah so I was like this this isn't <laughs> also just like how she describes that scene happening like her shirt's just lifting as she's talking to him <laughs> and she keeps pulling it down and I can just like I'm trying to picture him trying to keep a straight face right like, like that's why I just like laughed through this entire I did entire I did. part but, okay can I just say like I'm pretty sure at the end of that scene like cause he has that the magic whatever we want to call it where like I don't from my understanding nobody could see what was happening right correct. Like nobody was noticing yes, okay correct. but it for my understanding, that only is an effect when he's there. He left at the end of that. And she stuck her hand down her pants <laughs> and finished in the middle of the street. Like, and he was not there. Did you get back to your room? Like, I, 
<laughs> no, I think, I, I think let me tell you, you know what I think? I think we're thinking like regular human beings in that, for that scene. And but with him being he's a sex uh, a death by sex fee. So the um he and he wasn't muted at the time when he came to her. So he blasted her with his full fay gloriousness or however you want to call it, right? So she uh, literally she had no control over what it was. She was, she was fighting him the whole way. The whole time that scene was happening, she she yes, she had no control over it in, t- in regards to like undressing and stuff. But there were times when she was fighting it. She was literally it, and for him to bring her down on her on her knees that way. Did he bring her down on her knees? I, I don't remember. think so. I think that's no, later no, on. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Okay. I did get to yeah, the other scene. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um I think I think that um she she literally could not control herself. So and I think it? I think at the time when she put her hand down in her pants though, there was nobody else on the street. It was a case where um people had cleared off. I think you're right, but it was just like when you look at the reality of that scene, and it makes perfect yeah. sense. She was fighting him in the magic. Like I get that, but it was just. I think what was so bizarre with that scene was because, <laughs> excuse me, there was no other sex scenes, no other like slight even romantic scenes, um, prior to this whole chapter coming in. So it was kind of coming out of like left field. You're like, oh, yeah, I was not expecting okay. it to be like. Bam! They're in your face. Yeah, there, there was no build up. It's not like she like tried to flirt with Barons and like there was a kiss or something. Like there was no build up. It was just okay. We're we're going into this. <laughs> Full steam ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coming from uh, once again, Mac is telling this story from the future. She could have gave us a little more heads up. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. That that scene just made me laugh, and it was a very awkward scene for me. Yeah, it, I think I, I I don't okay for me. I don't know when I was reading that it it kind of gave off like a sixteen year old mindset of what would happen. <laughs> to be honest. I, what would I happen think... if you got it on in the middle of a crowded street? <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem with that scene is like if it was like supposed to be an erotic scene and it's supposed to turn the reader on, it did it, not have that. No. <laughs> so it's just a very I awkward. That, like, I don't. I didn't get scene. that though. I didn't get that feel from it. Like it was supposed to. I don't think that it was an erotic scene to to to, to um, entice the reader. Okay. I think it was just a scene to. To make us aware of the power that Blaine has as the fate, as a, as a sex, uh, oh my gosh, why do I keep putting it back to front? A death by sex fate. I think that's what it was. That's why, like, it's just like, um, like you guys said, there was no build up to it at all. It just came out of the, like, it, you know, just completely blindsided you. Like, here I am, I am Blaine, and this is what I can do. That's how I like, <laughs> can, can, can you do that again, Sully? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's like the way the details that she went into it like the author went into it like it was like details of like an erotica but not that's what I think was weird because yeah. you could tell something that's like a sex scene that's happening in a very like okay this is happening but like in the detail I don't know it was just no odd. no it was well to me I was like I was reading and then all of a sudden she's taking off her shirt and i was like wait what what the fuck did i miss <laughs> wait, what, what's going on here why is she why is she doing this what, and then i, I, mean, on and it, I was, it was like, i started laughing it, it was very like to show like his power like she did it very well like it went from like she's walking down the street to the next thing she knows she's ripping off her clothes and i think she I'm, i think she did that very well to show you like how powerful flane is Mm-hmm. But yeah, it did. It came out of like nowhere, like not what I yeah. was expecting at all. I'm pretty sure I like flipped back, like I thought I missed a page. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, no, I, <laughs> I had to like go back a few pages and start rereading all over, and I was like, okay, can I just like 
scroll <laughs> through all of this and just totally miss something or wait i don't understand what's happening here and then of course you know in the back of my head i thought she was 16 still so <laughs> i was like this is very awkward so <laughs> let's fun. move on to maluse is that the vampire there yeah yes I have but that he seems. Is he a vampire though? I have that he seems like a bit of a joke to me. You think so? Yeah, like I think he just seems like real, like showy and like a poser. Yeah, yeah, that's what I got too. I felt that way until the very end. I think like when they left, and then I was like, no, I think he's the real dude. I think I felt the same way Mac did, where she's because she was kind of on the fence too. Like, is he real? Is he fake? And then at the end, she's like, no, I think he's definitely real. Because when he attacked... I still don't know if I think he's an actual vampire. I think what is it, it is, is he's trying, taking steroids, okay? Just that's... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I there's a possibility, he's, shit. <laughs> he's like a billionaire. <laughs> but that's like what I... Like, I thought he was a poser. And then I started reading more of it. And then I, I really think, like... I don't think he's... A real so-called real vampire but i think like he made a deal yeah and that's how to i be, feel too yeah that he made a deal with someone and that's how he got his so-called superhuman powers. strength yeah. yeah yeah i think so yeah, too. What, what but what kind of deal can you make like do you think maybe with the fae he might have made a deal yeah to because with like, the fae it, or maybe with the dark fae yeah because like don't they, they're like one of his guards anyways right but he doesn't know right else. right but he, he doesn't seem to know but he doesn't or seem to does know. he like to baron he to them they don't know but like what if he really does know yeah there's that's true. there's that's, something that's true. about Wait, him you know? that i just don't trust yeah exactly like it, it, he he's very suspicious mm -hmm. and like, I just... the vampire doesn't know that his own guards are fae he does it. We don't know if he knows or not. No, we don't know. Yeah, because remember, uh, Mac, yeah, because Mac can't she can't show them that she can see. Yeah, the gods yeah. are not, you know, yeah. humans. But I assumed that the vampire knows that his because I assume that he being. didn't. Yeah, see, I assumed that he did not know as well. well. But that that doesn't make sense though, because if they're invisible like mac wouldn't be able to see it and baron's supposed to not be able to see it like unless you guys think these they are just following them no like, well, they you usually, don't know they use glamours yeah they so use glamour if you Ew. if you're not able to Ew. see the fae then you don't know that it's a glamour right yeah, you just but see that, a human being we don't but know that if sense that the vampire uh well, we, Malus, whatever would know that his guards are in the room with him and that's why he can be kind of so like cocky I guess and because like why else would his own guards be in the room with him if he didn't know that they were in no, we, no 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 no, so, no, no, no. what we're saying is that okay so in the book the fae to humans look human but to yeah. Mac they look like fae she yes. can see the glamour. Yes. So what Baron was saying is that he doesn't know that they are fae. Right now, what they're seeing is that they're human guards. They're not invisible. I they're thought they just... were at one point. No. 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 They're mm. just so called invisible. When they when they say they're so called invisible, it just means they're glamoured. Yeah. So, so they you could, don't. They could. It just looks like regular themselves to I think I'm people. thinking of the other guy yeah. later on. Which O'Connery or something? O'Connell or something I like that. Forget his name. The the other guy um, that they go to their his house. To the party. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's in the that's second half. On. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm thinking yeah. of that scene, and that's why. Yeah, I get that. But like, I I, think... Yeah, I get the, the whole glam thing. I get that. I just thought that the vampire had... Like, I thought there's, like, the glam where 
the fae can look like a human, but I also think there's fae that can be not have a human glam and just be like invisible unless you can only see fae. Mm. Like the humans would see I nothing, think- but if you could see fae, then you could see fae. And then there's the glam where the humans see a human, but really they're fae. I think that's possible too. But I think that's later on in the book as well. Yeah, that's why I was giving that seat mixed up. That's why I thought I was like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, have was get so I think I th- I think um for like this I think it's for like higher cast phase. You can you can be visible if you choose to be. But for the most part I think they get off on um uh parading around as being as being human. human. And of- what we didn't discuss that okay but you know what because we were talking about the characters themselves but that um many mouth thing was it the many mouth thing that she was she met in the yeah. in the bar uh, is that, oh no, is that, well, that was on the street is, wasn't it yeah no that, that was, was in the, in the bar. street oh, okay no not the many mouth thing it was the, the gray, gray man. man yeah the gray, oh, man. The gray man the gray man yeah oh, that was in the imagine bar something so horrible that it's turned you off <laughs> it turned you <laughs> off of your food and you have to sit there and pretend like you know I'm looking at you and I'm flirting and stuff but you're so hard like, an ugly you motherfucker to... <laughs> <laughs> but that is something so scary man imagine, imagine you as this ordinary person you've never seen anything <laughs> I would say I'm hallucinating <laughs> I would say that my my fries was was spiked with drugs or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! Oh my yeah, god! Like, what the something. hell did you put in my drink? <laughs> 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 it's like this is strong ass liquor right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I just, I don't like and it's funny how like how she acted like she couldn't see him it, to me she did a pretty good job because I would have been like yeah I would have ran I would yeah. have ran. <laughs> you know what I I think I think it's maybe instinctually she just knew she had to she had to play it off like that mm-hmm. and then too she was questioning herself like is she really seeing what she's seeing? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, kind of like the concept when you're a kid, you're like, if they can't see me, they, <laughs> you, or if I can't yeah. see them, they can't see me, you hide under the blankets. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still think I have that concept. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, my. And just the idea that something, I think he was like, how many feet tall, too? So, oh like, God, where yeah. his navel. Where his navel is is where she had to pretend he was. Oh, that that is, yeah, that tough. would be so like tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To oh. not look but then at again, his face. If she had a real phone that wasn't a stupid flip phone, she could have put the camera on and like okay, looked at her, looking at her phone, <laughs> like she I'm was sorry, taking a selfie. Who, who the hell still has a flip phone? Okay, besides, you know, my husband, because... My husband well, loves his phone, like, he's never off, like, social media or anything, so... Exactly. He, uh, well, I'm like, dude... Wait, because I think that the book... The book was written in 2006. Like, that's when the yeah. copyright is. So, I Technology, guess like, flip yeah. phones weren't that uncommon in 2006 still. I don't even remember 2006. <laughs> 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 Two thought no six. That would have been like the year after I graduated. Uh, and yeah, I guess flip phones are pretty popular then because I think I was in middle school. <laughs> 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 but I think I, I had like you. a razor. <laughs> yeah, I, I was about you. to say I think that's when I still had my razor. So I guess a flip phone <laughs> would have been like been okay. The ghost yeah. still in middle no, but school. She... <laughs> <laughs> I had a pink flip phone, okay? <laughs> yeah, I, so, I still remember my pink razor when it first came out. I was like, yeah. Honestly, I was surprised Max's phone was a pink <laughs> for <laughs> All right. <laughs> <was pink. laughs> All right. So, anyways, <laughs> the next 
<laughs> the next thing I have on my list is like, what did Alina get herself in like mixed up with? Like, did she stumble across an unseelie royal who like took advantage of her and was able to trick her? And I have, did, I have like four, ooh. four suspects here. How did she uh-huh. know about the book? Right. Like, how did she, or, like, how did this even happen? How did she know about Faye in the first place? Right. Because well, if she could see I him, think, like her sister. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, but wouldn't you think you would be going, like, crazy because you have no clue what a Faye is in the first place? You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, like well, how, like, like Mac. Yes, like Mac. Like, Imagine, yes, because you're just coming over, you're going to school like normal, and then you see these things popping up. I yeah, do but, wonder how she got involved with whoever it was she got involved with. But see, but see, here's the thing, is like, Mac got lucky, you know, because she Very. met Baron. Well, but, I think that's kind of what happened to Alanis. Like, she probably but, saw ooh. somebody, and, like, that was the first person... That, like who wasn't scary she started talking to and that was probably her murderer and it they weren't a good guy or at least decent like barons they just kind of but they wanted but to use you... her to get the book just like because she was searching for the book so i think when she just like how you say like she was lucky enough to meet or unlucky in her case <laughs> to meet somebody right that that knew about the fee and they were using her as a detector, just like the um, Baron is, is trying to use Mac. But for Elena, it ended badly. I so he, okay. So, but here's the thing: is like okay, if I like okay, so Mac saw something, but she already had like weird ass clues from her sister with a book. So she's like, "Hey, have you heard about this?" so-called book and then they're like hey what the hell but like how how you know i don't know if i was seeing freaking monsters i i, I would have been like i'd have been on the first plane back to georgia yeah i would have been like <laughs> i what know the right hell was here there's too many freaking drugs <laughs> <It's laughs> like, right, like i would have been gone <laughs> like i don't i don't i don't understand how you would and i wouldn't say anything I wouldn't say anything to anyone because they would put me in a padded room. <laughs> but I think well, I think at the point at the point of of her finding out all of these things, I think it could be similar to that of um, Mac. Like you know, we said she she met whoever she met at the time, and they opened up her not opened up her eyes because she was already seen, but. Um, pull her into yes pull her into this dark world you know what else I'm thinking though I'm thinking um, would that person actually kill her though if she was the only means that they knew of to get the book right I don't think Alanis is dead like I know you guys have read way before ahead of me but like at this point in the book like we didn't get a description of her death i don't know how she died and i think she just went into hiding that's an no but the body was shipped back home yeah the, the body, body was shipped back, back home, home. Yeah. did it yeah, yeah. I don't know, yeah. Like, mac like, had to identify her magic magic realm i feel like a body could easily be faked i'm just saying interesting that's true interesting. That, that's a very interesting uh yeah, no, I actually didn't even. Uh, yeah, I didn't even consider that. that. Yeah. I just yeah, yeah. took but, but, Max word for it that that was I don't Elena. Max word for shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so okay, so, but okay, okay, so you know how Mac like stumbled upon Baron and was like, "Hey, you know," with his assistant was like, "Hey, have you heard about this book?" And blah blah blah, everything exploded. What if Elena, she, because she did, didn't did understand about Faye, because you know how Mac was in the bar the first time and saw the gorgeous the guy, yeah. yeah, the gorgeous guy, what if that's how Elena, t- you know, stumbled upon it and who she met 
and didn't realize was it was a fae the whole time yeah because she couldn't tell yeah. the difference she like she could see the monsters but what if it was a glamoured monster well she could no, see it through she, the glamour yeah but that's yeah, her, like, a, that's their but ability Elena, but Mac didn't at first yeah she did no, no, because not, at the bar, the she thing. saw the gorgeous guy, and that's when the old woman, like, wrapped her on the head and called her like, a, a pirate, pi, pi, pie or whatever it was. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And he was gorgeous. He wasn't a monster. But, but he, he was, was only caught for a while. He was only caught yeah, for a while. Yeah, she did start seeing through she, it. Yeah, because, well, yeah. yeah but that's, what, like, what if there was Faye that could stay glamoured for a long well, time. Well, the sea lady yeah. are beautiful all the time, no matter what, correct? I think so. I think she, I think Alanis is like the sea lady. I think, because I think, yeah, the sea lady are beautiful. The unsea lady are supposed to be horrific monster-like creatures. Mm -hmm. But you can still tell that, because from what, from everything that I've, I've, I've read, and researched and, and stuff in regards to the fairy um, thing we were thinking. The, the, the seeds are all exceedingly handsome, exceedingly beautiful people. But you can still tell that something about them isn't quite right, like isn't quite human. So even under the glamour, if they did decide to go on, on and do a glamour, um, you would still be able to tell that they're not human. You would still see under the glamour. Right, but if it was like, uh, depending on what its power was, like maybe Alina wouldn't care that it wasn't human. Yeah, no, but like maybe it made it more curious. The she no wasn't a monster. The what? The the death the by Prince Vlad. Like, no, yeah, because yeah, he's, he's a silly. He's a silly prince. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, so what if a what if Elena met that Prince Vlad? Yeah. What if that's who killed her or who brought her into it? And that is possible. Her. Like, would she have killed her? But why would you kill her? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Like, if she was the one who was going ahead and doing the search for the book, right. why would you kill that one, that, that one person that can get you the book? Maybe the person she was with didn't kill her. Maybe somebody else killed her. Like, you know how, like, Barons and Mac are together and, like, all these other fae... Have kind of started targeting him now. Maybe that's kind of what happened to Elenis and whoever she was with. And that person just wasn't strong enough or wasn't there when she got attacked on her own. But everybody wants the book and there's only one person. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, if, if I know that there is, I wouldn't kill that person. I would try to kidnap them. I would try to make them work for me. You right. understand? If we do it as what Ash was talking about, yeah, kidnap Elena and then glamour up a different body that looks like Elena. Don't, don't, don't. That's possible. That, that, is, that an is an possible. interesting idea. Yeah, that's I, how I, I never... feel. Like the fact that I was not told how she died, I, I don't know. Like coming from somebody also too who died, you just want to know all the facts and the fact that like Mac was like, yeah, she died, and I'm gonna go like it was gruesome. find out what happened, but you don't even tell us how. She died? How are we supposed to, like, how... Like, I don't know. Like, it's kind of like, where did she die? How did she die? Those are really important facts when you go to investigate how someone died. <laughs> or why they died. So it just kind of... That bothers me. So then, like, hmm, maybe she's really not dead because maybe this glamour or fake body, whatever it is, like, isn't really giving answers and kind of just leaving more questions. Now, the Unseely Royals, they're also beautiful, Correct. The yes. So it could have because even they been were, like an were... unseely royal that Mac met. No. Why? Well, yeah, well, maybe. Maybe. I cannot know. Or not, I'm sorry, maybe. not Mac. Not <laughs> Mac. Sorry, not Mac. Elena. Elena. Okay. Elena. It's possible. That's possible as well. I That's still, possible. And, yeah. and like you pointed out, like I don't get what the angle for killing Elena would have been. Yeah. Yes. Especially that you that was your only person unless it was someone who doesn't want the book found that's what i think oh, like it's kind of like people who are attacking oh. mac 
or, or Alina may have revealed herself to the 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 wrong Ansili. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's possible because because the old woman said to Mac she's going to get herself killed if she shows them that she can see them. Yeah. So is that possible? Maybe that Alina let. Uh, although I don't see how she would if she, but it's possible that she may have let it slip that, hey, I can see you, and they don't want it out there that they can be seen and they kill her. Maybe. But the voicemail maybe. that Alina leaves for Mac also yeah. kind of makes it seem like the person who was after her was coming. Well, yeah, yeah but to, maybe. But, but here's the thing: maybe the person who was with Elenus already has the book and then took care of Elenus. <gasps> oh. Um, how did it? Because the way the voicemail is. But but Z, you were saying you think you have four people that you think that may. <laughs> Excuse me. That what? may be. I have the person that Elena met. Right. Well, three people, and then. A fourth theory. So, so far I was thinking it was either like an unseely royal, Prince Blaine, Barons and or Fiona, or perhaps like an unseely that was sent to kill her. I definitely, I don't think Fiona or Barons had anything to do with Elena's disappearance or death, whatever we're believing it is. I just don't get that feeling from what I've read so far. Well, yeah, because I would have thought, like, Baron would have used Elena to get the book. Like, how he's using Mac right now. Right. Okay, here, I have the voicemail. Mac. Oh, God, Mac, where are you? I need to talk to you. It rolled straight into your voicemail. What are you doing with your cell phone turned off? You've got to call me this minute. You get this. I mean, the very instant. Despite the oppressive summer heat, I was suddenly icy, my skin clammy. Oh, Mac, everything has gone so wrong. I thought I knew what I was doing. I thought he was helping me. But God, I can't believe I was so stupid. I thought I was in love with him, and he's one of them, Mac. He's one of them. I blinked uncomprehendingly. One of who? For that matter, who was this he that was part of them in the first place? Alina in love? No way. Alina and I told each other everything, aside from a few guys she dated casually her first months in Dublin. She'd not mentioned any other guy in her life, and certainly not one she was in love with. Her voice caught on a sob. My hand tightened to a death grip on the phone, as if maybe I could hold on to my sister through it. Through it. Keep this Alina alive and safe from harm. I got a few seconds of static, then when she spoke again, she lowered her voice as if fearful of being overheard. We've got to talk, Mac. There's so much you don't know. My God, you don't even know what you are. There are so many things I should have told you, but I thought I could keep you out of it until things were safer for us. I'm going to try and make it home. She broke off and laughed bitterly, a caustic sound, totally unlike Elena. But I don't think he'll let me out of the country. I'll call you as soon as... More static, a gasp. Oh, Mac, he's coming. Her voice dropped to an urgent whisper. Listen to me. We've got to find the... Her next word sounded garbled or foreign, something like shy, sadu. I thought... Everything depends upon it. We can't let them have it. We've got to get to it first. He's been lying to me all along. I know what it is now, and I know where. Dead air. The call had been terminated. I sat stunned. See, I think... I think it was the prince that she fell for and was tricked by him, especially because he's, like, sex by death. So it would be very easy to manipulate, I think, her into falling in love see and that's why i had him as one of mine too because i put early on mac talks about how sex with a fae could wreck a woman yeah and alina's <laughs> personality and habits change so drastically yeah and, like was that a clue to alina's killer or to something that would happen to mac i think it's both but also like how she said that he i don't think he'll let me out of the country makes me uh, think she was more kidnapped than killed that's that's an interesting theory. Like I never would have come up with that. Yep, yeah, but then I don't think that if he was kidnapped, if she was kidnapped, she would have access to a phone. Well, if well, the call comes before he comes to get her. Yeah. Oh, you mean like okay? So afterwards, she yeah. was kidnapped. You mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was like but the I moment too, that he the, took her. The fact, 
that Ma um, that Alina was too secretive about everything because Max says this is not like her to not share what's going on with her life. Like she had a boyfriend that she was in love and stuff like that. She but was keeping him a secret. Actually, like, keeping her whole life in Dub in Dublin a secret. Right. Well, I don't know what part in the book this is. I don't want to say too much because, like, well, you guys all read it, so. Um, because we find out that, like, Mac is, I don't think her dad is her real dad. Right? Um, that's, that's, yeah, that's in the second, second half. half. Okay. That is the second half. Okay. I, that's what I thought. I was just going to say, like, if El Elenis is finding all this out, like, it's a lot to swallow. And it would be, it makes sense she'd keep it all a secret, everything that's happening to her until she kind of, like... Yeah, what is happening and kind of like got it figured out on her own before she told her sister is what I was just thinking I'm wondering if she even knew that yeah I, I, I wish we got more of Alina's background point of view <laughs> yeah. yeah well I think I think um, Mac only found out and we, I know we're stepping in the other half of the book when you know we're not there yet but Mac only found out by that quite accidentally and it wasn't through you know right um any of the right so again although we don't who Alina met and who she was um you know dealing with at the time but I'm wondering knew about that or if she was just trying to because she told Mac she doesn't even know who she is in terms of I think being this 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 the this she's here. here yeah yeah yes. well, see i was thinking uh she like stumbled upon like oh like i figured out like our family lineage and like we have these this power and it's passed down and so she would know her sister is Essie here yeah but could i just like i first of all mac i think it's weird mac doesn't stay in her sister's apartment when she goes to Ireland and to pack it up, she stays at a hotel. Yeah, that seems like when you're saying you don't have a whole lot of money, like why would you stay somewhere you had to pay for when there was somewhere you could stay for free? Also, like, wouldn't but you just want to be in the place, like the last place that y your loved one had died? Like, not that she, we know if she died in that place or not. We don't know. We just know it was ransacked. And so it's like, could she have, maybe I think she was putting it off. Like, she didn't really want the fact that, that I mean, being there and knowing that, um, I don't know that I would be able to. I'm looking at it from my, my perspective. Like, if I had um, a, a someone close to me die horribly and unexpectedly, would I be able to face going in there, staying in the apartment and, and knowing that, you know, just this person is no more? And I have to come and clean up and stuff. It, to me, it would take some time. Like, maybe she just didn't want to face the fact that that happened. But she also wanted... She was over there to get um, justice. See, see justice happen for her sister. So, I don't know. Maybe she just couldn't couldn't face being in the same apartment um, that her sister was in. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'd, like, coming from the grief side, like, for me, it was... I wanted to be in touch everything I possibly could that could have my loved one on it or had physically touched last. And so mm -hmm. it was very like the opposite for her. And I know everybody goes through grief different. So like to me that really stuck on and bothered me because when she did talk about the money and trying to save money in the apartment, I would assume had a kitchen. And then two, like if she was really there to solve this murder mystery, that would be like the first place with all the clues I would think so it was just kind of very like mm, okay but I can see like if everybody grieves differently so yeah. oh. uh, also the diary do you guys like have any idea like do you guys think it's still the apartment yeah I um, don't I don't know it, I feel like yeah. it's in the picture i think it's in the picture like in the picture that was above the bed that was untouched well she grabs it and there's like nothing behind it or anything no like i think you have to like take the picture frame apart how big's the picture frame like, oh yeah because i mean it's I, a journal it's gonna be like a notebook 
it may not be that thick. I don't know. This part of the, like, we don't have all the clues. I'm Unless, just picturing, like, a, a big picture frame and then this thin notebook or thin journal in it. Or maybe just pages of the journal. Oh, maybe. I didn't think of that. Interesting. Because it was just, like, the one part she made note that it wasn't touched. And so I thought that was just an interesting clue for the apartment and where maybe this missing journal with all the answers might be. Hmm. It's possible. It's possible. I didn't think of that. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the questions. So which character did you like best? Barons. Yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I was gonna say him as well, Baron. <laughs> All right, and which character did you like least? Mac. Mac. <laughs> Mac. It's very uh, interesting. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need to spend too much time on that one because we've kind of did that in the character. Yeah. Part, yeah. But... <laughs> yeah. All right. Did you like the heat level of the book? It's a very awkward heat right level. like we kind of already discussed that too it's like if it was yeah if we had a little more warning or if it was more consistent maybe but would it just awkwardly out of nowhere it was hard like with the scene with barons and he first interacts with mac and he's like you need to leave um it's like two in the morning and he enters her room oh, at the uh, hotel uh, yeah okay. I, i'm uh-huh. sorry but i really thought they were about to kiss or he was about to kiss her. yeah felt like more i was like "Ooh, this is like this is heating up here like what's gonna happen and then i like that's when at the point of the book i was like really intrigued and then nothing happened i was like what like (laughs) nothing built off of that so far i'm like "Mm, okay yeah i i don't don't know it it was getting a little hot and spicy and then all of a sudden it just dropped off to nothing i was like oh okay Uh, all right and then all of a sudden this out of left field like heat moment and I was like wait what what's happening <laughs> I don't want this character I wanted Barons <laughs> maybe yeah, that's part that of the problem I think, yeah that's that's why I think it was it was it was done more to emphasize the the strength of his power because look at how it was with Barons and room and yet he did up and stuff but and that's why I think so that there is this this chemistry between the two of them as well. Yeah, it is yeah. there. Yeah. They're both just, just like denial. so down yeah. hand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Blaine just comes comes into the picture like this is me. Like you know? <laughs> this is me yeah. in all of my glory. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like a freaking wrecking ball. I was just like, wait, what the fuck did I miss? <laughs> wait, I was just like, I don't, I don't, and I don't know why, but at that point, I, I was like stuck that she was, she was like a sixteen year old. So it was very like awkward for me, but also like I had to go back and like reread it because I had no clue what the hell was happening. I'm like, wait, why are you taking off your shirt? <laughs> wait. Who are you talking to? Wait, what's, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah. So the heat level of this book, it, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know if I could trust it. Because when I thought it was about to get heated, it didn't, and then and all then of a when sudden, you weren't it expecting it. <laughs> yeah. So I can't trust my heat fucker. level right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next. So, are there any characters you'd like to deliver a lecture to? And if so, who and what would you say? Nah. I think I put a <laughs> <shark. Yeah. laughs> Grow the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I would say. Yes, Mac I as would well. love for her to grow up. Yeah. Also, I would, uh, Baron, like, what do you do with Mac? Like, Come on over here. You don't have to hang out with her. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. No, I would. Oh, and I, I'm sorry, but I would totally lecture her about her um, clothing selections. Right. <laughs> in, in, the, in the cold and rainy Ireland, she's wearing tank tops and flip flops. Yeah. Right? Like, why? Oh, and then especially about the whole going to a vampire lair and wearing a rainbow dress. Right. 
Yeah, like, See, why? I not that hard as much, because that's, like, I think she was really sticking to her personality there. Yeah. Um, cause that's something yeah. like I done when I was in college would be, like, wear yeah. very, um, clothing that wasn't, I guess, appropriate for, like, it, you don't fit in, like, but it, it was very me, and it felt like me, and I wanted to wear it, and that's what I was going to wear. So, for her so age, would, that was So, you would totally wear pastels yeah, I, to a vampire lair yeah to a goth that was, yeah that was why she doesn't have to fit in they're like well, she didn't need to no but she didn't have to fit in but yeah, like she, she was going there to find stuff out like why would you want to draw attention to yourself like okay i'm sorry but she could have worn jeans and a pink fucking shirt all of that i care but why a freaking rainbow dress I don't know, she was feeling it. I, I, I don't know. Like I said, when I was younger like that, I definitely had my days where I felt that intense about fashion and I wanted to wear what I wanted to wear. It didn't matter what occasion it was. So. Yeah, I can't yeah. even say anything about that because um, like Ash, I, I, there, was this, there was this time even as an older adult, well, the adult, like I was 24, right? there was a time when my whole, and then another time my whole wardrobe was lilac. And <laughs> so I don't know. Like, it just, it's whatever moved me at the time. Right? So maybe, yeah. Thanks, Soli. We got each other. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't know. I, I just feel I, like if you were going somewhere where you didn't want to stand out, you wouldn't dress to stand out. Well, it, it's just a little bit of a common sense thing, okay? Like, you could wear pink, okay? It doesn't matter, but a full-on rainbow. Like, why? Why the fuck not? But this woman is going out with barons. Barons. Right. <laughs> she not be like, like, of attention. <laughs> <laughs> like, dress a little more sophisticated for this tall, dark, and handsome man. Well, he's, I think, That's straight up says that to her too. later He on. does. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I think she does that, too, just to get under his... Under his oh, his, absolutely. His because she, yeah. she gets in her mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, though, yeah, she because... would pack so many clothes, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. Because and not just that, I think at the time did she no 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 okay no no she didn't cut her hair yet. No. But I think she was no, doing that just Yeah, she was doing that just to get under his Well, she's getting under my skin. So <laughs> I, I appreciated the rainbow outfit. I liked that. Oh oh uh, wait, and then the scene where she explains explains Oh yes what oh, she's was, wearing and what, yeah. she, weird. oh and and the you know like i don't know but i really got an embarrassing like emotion when she was explaining the song how she felt <laughs> what did she say she she like whenever she heard that song she was she just wanted like, to swirl in circles <laughs> <laughs> twirl in circles <laughs> yeah, that, that was that sixteen mentality that we're like, wait, you're twenty two. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I felt really embarrassed for her at that point. I I think that's like, that's part of her her immaturity. immature personality. Yes, coming through. That's that's mm-hmm. part of it. Like I think <laughs> the offer is really ringing in our ringing in our heads that you know Mac may be 21 but she's really a child in her mind or something like you know those children <laughs> well, that are I, trying I to be more yeah well I, I love it how she's explained this while standing in the vampire's lair like, <laughs> I feel like it was pretty ballsy to say like either ballsy or stupid to say that straight to the vampire <laughs> I'm gonna go with stupid because I feel like Mac is very stupid at this point in the book <laughs> Yes, that's true. She is. She is. Not gonna lie. She is. Oh, I don't think she's realized the gravity of the situation yet. Like, no, that's not at all. Yet. To be fair, she's going through a lot emotionally. She is. She is. I just... I, I mean, you would just think, like, tragedy would make you grow up a little bit. Like, just a yeah, little bit. Not... No. No. Not necessarily. Sometimes I think, I think you yeah, revert back to your childhood ways, and like that's what's gonna give you comfort. So you're gonna like hang on to whatever brings you comfort, and if that's acting like a child, imagining swirling around, or your pretty dress, like that makes sense to me. 
I guess. I don't know. I'm just a very different person than Mac. Y yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it will take some time, too, because she remembered, like, just how she grew up, you know? In the... The, the sheltered... Spoiled, yeah. Yeah. And spoiled, yeah. Very full of herself. And she's just, like, so frivolous little things. Like, to me, she just appears to be a bit of an airhead. Like, for yeah. sure, yes. Her blonde Barbie hair. <laughs> she, yeah. she had called herself Barbie. Oh, more, I think more than, yeah, more than once. <laughs> Probably Which, at the same I... time she described being the greatest floor sweeper ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's all she can handle, guys. Let's be real. <laughs> all right. So, would you want to read another book by this author? At this point, no. But I may change my mind. Well, I, I have read I have read the Highlander series. Um it's a bit it's a it's a lighter note. It's more like a uh it's so oh my it's, it's romance, we're more romantic, but it's like a uh it's like a time travel kind of thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. But Okay, I'm not even going to say much of that on the thing, but I'll, I'll get back. Maybe I'll tell you all after, and maybe in the second half I will, I'll talk about it a little bit more. Okay. Um, but yeah, it it ties in. It ties into this series as well. Oh, so they're oh, all like yeah. part of the same yeah. universe. That can make kind it for me. Yeah, because <laughs> I I read the Highlander series. We I read some of it, not all of it. Before I read this. And when I did read this one, I went, I got curious enough to read the rest of the Highlander series. Hmm. So, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, well, I'm but definitely going to finish yeah, the series because I have to know what happens. Oh, cool. This definitely isn't oh. something I would have picked up on my own, though. And if I had, I probably <laughs> no, wouldn't have gotten I past have. Like, chapter two. But I, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I've read it. I'm getting into it. Yeah, me too. I no, think, no, I, I it gets the better. Story, the storyline is a good one. Yes. Like, the, it's just that the character building, it's taking too long to build. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but, yeah, but the storyline is a good one. I agree. All right. So, are there any areas you wish the author had elaborated on further? Uh, a lot. <laughs> right. uh, and my biggest thing would be Alanis's death and all that, and I've already talked about that. So, yeah, yeah. All right. She, she, oh, go ahead. There's, there's, there's a, there's, there's a few areas. Like I don't know. She, she could have done a little bit better at describing like certain things and mm -hmm. certain peoples. Um, because like. So, in some areas, she, like, elaborates a lot of, and then, like, in other places, you're like, wait, that, that's all I'm getting? <laughs> yeah. wait, is, wait, what did this person look like? Wait, I'm, I'm very confused, because you told me your dress, like, 10,000 times, <laughs> but... It took you four pages to describe what you were wearing, and I got three sentences on this person. Yes, ex ex Exactly. And it, it kind of makes me a little upset. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Which just adds to why I hate Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, All right. So are there any people in the book whose perspective you wanted? Elena's. <laughs> Elena's. Baron, I think, would be very interesting. Even if they still kept him, like, a mystery, like, they if we saw his perspective just interacting with Mac, but we don't know who he is really, or like really anything about him still, I mm -hmm. think it would be very interesting. Just like to see his, like what he truly thinks of Mac, like yeah. when she wears that rainbow dress. Well, I, think, <laughs> I, think he, I think he makes it quite clear <laughs> how, what he thinks what he thinks of I know. Like a I, Yeah, I believe he asks like, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> yeah. or just to read from that perspective would have been hysterical. <laughs> Yeah, or or the look that he gives her, I'm just like, if looks can kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely yeah. wish, like, even if it had been, like, a preface, that we yeah. had gotten, like, Alina's 
perspective. Yeah, even when, like... Even just, like, her death scene perspective would have just given would... us a little bit more. If she's yeah. actually dead, maybe yeah. that's the whole problem. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah, the scene. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mm. But you know what would be good? What? Oh, uh, I was going to say, never mind. I'll have to say it in the second half. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> remember now? Yep, that's just now I want to know. So okay, I'll remember. just say you deleted that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just going to say, I would like the perspective of the mother. Mm. Like a, a whole backstory from her, why she ended up where they were with their kids not knowing what they are. What the fuck happened there? Right? Yeah. Right. Are we keeping this part in in in, in the thing? Because remember this is only this is a oh delete delete this part. Many. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. Like, you also have one to of like, many. I, I kinda do want to know like what how what much her do her thoughts- parents know? Yeah, but also, like, what she was thinking when, you know, Mac was like, hey, by the way, I'm going to a country where uh, my sister died, so see you, bye. Like, I would have been like, I will handcuff you to the bathroom seat, I swear to God. (laughs) This is an interesting thought. I just thought, like, I just thought this thought. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Alanis went to school in Ireland, and we know that her mom came from this family background and the history behind that why did she let her first daughter go well we don't know her mom came from that background i thought it well okay i thought it did no No. it never said anything about family history or anything i think it's because well the the lady in the first bar that ran into mac says why do you like Maybe it's not the first time, but the second time, the lady says she's a certain um, I know, Connor, bloodline. I think. Yeah, yeah okay. O'Connor. But like, but yes, you don't that, know that, that. You don't know like if it's her, if it's the mom or the dad, dad or. Oh, I thought it said it somewhere. Okay, no. Or like, if they are like, you know, does the mom and dad know they were O'Connors? Are they Do adopted? they know? Do they know that, you know, like, we have nothing, you know? That's why it would be nice to have, like, the mom's, like, ex- uh, per- perspective. Wow, that was a tongue twister for me. <laughs> 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 but, you know what I mean? Like, you know, why, if she knew, why did she let her daughter go? Oh, if yeah. either of them knew. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like, if, it's just weird. Yeah. But I guess it could have been like grandparents that moved out there first. Exactly, and they didn't tell them their mm. dun dun dun. <laughs> <Da-da-da>. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no. It... Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Why do you look so attractive? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking Force about Force <laughs> <laughs> Channeling Malus. Malus. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce like half of these. I know. <laughs> oh my god! I just stumble over a lot of the words in my head. I'm like, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I do. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna even try. That's why I was like, wait, who, who are we? Ta- oh, the vampire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that that fairy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, the gray man is the really the only one like, and. The many mouth thing. Yeah, that that's basically all that I'm, I'm and the, the rhino, rhino boy. boys. <laughs> oh yeah, the rhino boys. She has some really cool names for them. Yeah. <laughs> all which we cannot say. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm not as like distraught by the book anymore. <laughs> My feelings have changed. Even though I don't think I'll read the second one anytime soon. I'm not as like Feisty Mara has left. <laughs> yeah, I'm like okay. I keep thinking about it a lot. Maybe it's because we still need to do this recording, but I'm like it's on my brain barriers and it's bothering me. All right. Today we're covering chapters 14 through 25. 
<laughs> last time. <laughs> okay. All right. So, character. I think Rocky is the only new character we meet in the second half. Yes. In the Dark Lord. Oh yeah. The uh, yeah. it's not Dark Lord. It's <laughs> oh shit. We just <laughs> yeah. Yes. Dark Master. Lord Master. Lord Master. <laughs> Why? Why would you call yourself Lord Master? Like that's just. I, how big I is demand your you ego? to call me Lord Master. <laughs> like how big is your ego, man? Like <laughs> not you Lord, Lord, not Master. <laughs> Lord, Lord Master. master. <laughs> like you literally need two titles, and you don't even have a name after your title. It's just Lord Master. I that's wonder what said, his real name is. Like his name given at birth. <laughs> Is he compensating for something? <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Just like a plain name. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Alright, so okay. Rocky. Rocky. I thought that he definitely could have killed Elena. Because um, of his anger. Yeah, like, at least per- persona-wise, he's pretty yes. ruthless and bloodthirsty. Yes. Plus, yes, yes. he's good-looking and controlling. Way that too sounds controlling. like half the other characters in the book. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know? yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's true. But I mean, like, I don't know, that scene where... Byron takes her to the club. That was like I, I wanted to punch all the guys in the face. <laughs> I really I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> like I was just like, how I hate you all. <laughs> but yeah, yeah sorry. it was it was very old timey, I guess. Old timey. Old timey, yeah. yeah. Old timey. Yeah. <laughs> it, it did it did it did you know, like I guess if you were like the mafia then I guess you have the right to be old timey. <laughs> I like his name should have been Lord Master. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but the atmosphere in the restaurant made um What's her name? I've forgotten her name. Mac. Mac. Oh my gosh, that's so easy to remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, the atmosphere in the restaurant made her feel a little bit more at home. It's something that she was used to. She may not have agreed with it, but it was not something that was new to her. That's that's kind of that's kind of true in a way, in a sense, because those southern bells were very you know the guy always were up and more controlling I guess they were up and more controlling is that what you said <laughs> so long <laughs> so long after that's not what was in my head <laughs> I feel like how do I put this politely? <laughs> Did you meet uptight? Yes. <laughs> just didn't finish that word. <laughs> just the up to up, you know. <laughs> wow. Okay, you know what? Apparently, I, just... I don't know Southern Bells very or Southern <laughs> Boys very well. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say right now. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> so the Lord Master, we also met. And yes, he's something weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's something, all right. Right. Very. He. Uh... Do you guys think he lives in that house? I yes. Think so yeah. Yeah. I think he's mm-hmm. just hanging to all his house. stuff. Hmm. Well, I probably never expected anybody to come looking for it either. Yeah, you know, because anybody that walks in to, into like, the walk- dark zone, yeah, <laughs> I was all like, "What is it called again?" They, you know, 
they kind of get eaten so he had he has a very good security system <laughs> for real ish, <laughs> ish. I, i'm just surprised he kept the stuff like i don't know his personality type seemed like he would have just thrown it all away and not care but really you know if you actually think about it maybe he did it just to like Maybe he's like part human, and that was like his human side, you know. Because or maybe he I just guess. didn't care enough to do anything <laughs> about it. I was like, I'm busy enough. I was, I was, I was, I was gonna say, or maybe it's like a um, trophy. Ooh, ooh, yeah. I don't think he killed her though. Yeah, I'm not sure if I think he killed her either. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I don't know because like it... because the book just fucking ends, <laughs> <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> yeah. Very rude. But, yeah. Fuck cliffhangers. It, it it was just like, and then <gasps> and then I was like, and then what? Wait, that that's all. That's, I, oh. I, I, I like tried to scroll to the next page, and I'm like, why won't it go any further? <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you guys read or started reading this series after like everything's out. Could you imagine if you started uh, this when it first came out? Oh yes. my god, I, I would. Though to be fair, I started book three and I've not even gotten. Finished. Yeah, I'm not. I don't even think I'm past the second or third chapter. Yeah. I wait. Book three is what? <laughs> uh, the one that is it. The, the, is it blood fever? Yeah, I think so. Oh, or no. Oh. I don't know. Bay fever? Bay, bay fever? Something like that? I think we're on the same book. Yeah. With the same maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's book two? Did I finish book I think two? it's book t- I think it's book two. I don't know. I think <laughs> we're still stuck on book two. It, it's not a bad read. Okay, no, it's not. It's not. It's, I it's just, just have other things that I've been reading. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're cheating on your book. I am. <laughs> I I returned mine at the library. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a blind date that went bad. <laughs> I had to. I I had to. It wouldn't renew again. <laughs> they they called me like several times. They're like, uh yeah, are you gonna return our book? Any you should have been like, never. <laughs> I'm still reading it. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, well, and then I was like, can I renew it again? They're like, you already renewed it. Like, we can't renew it again. I'm like, oh. That's so okay. dumb. You should have just brought it in be like, I'd like to return this. And then be like, can I look at that? Go check it out. <laughs> okay, cool, thanks, bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had very high hopes of me like finishing it, and then for some reason it just I I put it down and I just never <laughs> picked it back up. <laughs> so yeah, okay, that was me with the first book. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, like the second book's actually it's actually pretty pretty good. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it it yeah. it it had a lot more detail. Mm. And a whole lot more. And Max other... less annoying. Yeah, Max is less annoying. Okay, that's oh. more of a plus side. Is it still like past tense? Yeah. I have no clue. <laughs> yeah, she's still telling the story. <sighs> yeah, okay. I don't know about that. I could have. <laughs> that, that's the breaking point for me right there. See, I could never tell, so. <laughs> she like, says it every now and then. Yeah, only when she says it, though, do I realize that I'm getting her t- side of the story. Yeah, maybe I just don't pay attention. <laughs> Anyways, I think. <digress. laughs> all right, all right. Sorry. Okay. So I think chapter seventeen is when Mac kind of starts growing up and acknowledging that she has an entitled mindset. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Which is a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Took only seventeen chapters, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but I think it was only like two three weeks of her being there yeah she wasn't so, there for very long so yeah I, mean, I, guess, I, I guess that is quite a lot of growth in a short amount of time but if you're surrounded by all those sexy men like you would hope she'd grow fast 
<laughs> Just saying. Um, okay, so what is your favorite part of the book? Uh, uh, anything with barons in it, really? Well, mm. I actually enjoyed the fighting scene. I did. Oh, the last one? That that was like probably my favorite, where Baron just came out of freaking nowhere and kicked some ass, and then he just like carries her home and paints her nails like a weirdo. But yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was weird. I think it was sweet. I just pictured him coming in like Batman. <laughs> I was thinking more like Spider-Man, the way he drops. <laughs> I just like pictured the black cape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now that you've said it, I can see it. Uh, that was a good fight scene, though. I think my favorite scene, though, is like when she wears the rainbow outfit just to like fuck with everybody. To I think that was there. my least favorite scene. Yeah, that really? was my least favorite scene. Yes. Because I wanted to punch her in the face. Like, it just... <laughs> seemed so I guess kind of juvenile like she knew where she was going and she I don't know I mean I see like the defiance in it but at the same time like she knew what Baron's expected of her and where they were going and what she had to do and she made yeah. herself stand out <laughs> she, yeah but let me uh let me just wear something super bright at a, a very dark place and try to steal this thing from you. I, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I wanted to, like, really... I, I was very <laughs> at that scene. And it also annoyed me that we needed, like, four pages to tell us about it, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then her dancing, like, yeah. It, it, yeah. I think she was just being true to herself, yeah. to, to who she was, in regards to dressing up that way, even knowing where it was that she was going. And maybe it, like you said, it's just a bit of defiance against what Barons expected her to do. So she just, she was like, it's like a big F you to him. I'm doing what I'm doing anyway. There was still a part of me that wouldn't have been upset if Mac had been killed there. <laughs> <laughs> End of story. <laughs> now there's two murders. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. I thought my least favorite part was the the museum scene. I was just I got no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that was I, like I an awkward scene. The, the pearl necklace or bracelet, whatever it was. Like, now I can't look at pearls the same. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's be wild to cleanse that from my brain. Yeah. Or, yeah. I, I, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I have no comments to this one. <laughs> Except for, uh, eh, uh. <laughs> Oh it was my. very crazy. <laughs> so moving uh, right along. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Did you race to the end or was it more of a slow burn? I don't remember. I definitely raced to the end. Like I read this book pretty quickly. Yeah, I okay, I guess I did too. And I, I was hoping to get some answers, but all I got was the end of the book. And no answers. The abort end. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah mine well, actually... It was somewhat... Say that again? I was just saying, that was oh, definitely oh. like a slow burn, because I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading other books. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. For me, well, I had different little things in between, so it was maybe at a moderate pace. Um... That I got to the end of the book. But you've also read it before, so you kind of kind of knew what already would happen. I did read it a while back, but it's not like I remembered everything that was going to happen. So it was there were a few moments where it was like, um, oh, yeah, this is what happens there. But um, I couldn't go like page to page and say, OK, I remember this exactly. Did yeah. you like more reading it the second time like was it or max still annoyed me 
Max. <laughs> Max, she annoyed me the first time, and she annoyed me just as much this time. But um, I continued on with the series, so it's it it does get better going further in. It's just getting through that first book. I've always thought that the storyline was a good one. Um, mm-hmm. it's just the characters. It took a little bit of work getting well certain ones. <laughs> get into to like them within the first like three pages of this book i knew that this was the one that you were talking about where you couldn't stand the main character like i knew it i was like this is definitely the book Soli was talking about <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's mac but she improved after a while like a long time 17 freaking chapters later <laughs> What did you guys think of the writing? Were there any standout sentences? I personally just didn't like the how it was written, like the tone she was talking about at the past. Um, it just there were some sentences where she's like, she kind of like, you know, oh, we'll find out that was a lie later. I think that happened in the first half, but I'm like, I gotta ruin it for me. Like, I was just little things like that. <laughs> like, I don't want to know the details. It's supposed to be suspenseful. Um, I think I would have enjoyed the book much more if it was written just like as is happening, present tense. So that's my only real issue I had with it. Yeah, I I kind of agree with that. Like, it took me way longer than it should have to realize how I was reading it. And then even while I was reading it, I'd forget that like it couldn't really be trusted to be an accurate story because it's just her side of the story. Mm. Yeah. About that. Did reading the book impact your mood? And if yes, how so? It made me angry. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, definitely roller coaster feelings. <laughs> right? <laughs> Baron's made it much more bearable than I think it would have been without him. Yeah. I liked Baron's. Me too. I was only there for Baron's. <laughs> <laughs> Can that be our quote for sure? (laughs) (laughs) Surprised you most about the book. Honestly, I have to say the ending because nothing was resolved. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. (laughs) I, I I, I would have to agree because usually the book would have like, you know, tidbits of, uh, information. But uh, this gave you nothing. This just gave you more questions than answers. Yeah. It was deliberate, I think. Well, not I think. Definitely. Yes, it was definitely um, to keep you waiting. It's like the the cliffhanger at the end of a movie that that you know there is a part two in. They could have at least told us how she died. Like, Max's (laughs) sister. (laughs) <laughs> still need to give us down. something <laughs> it's just like really there's a whole book where we're supposed to be finding the murder of Mac's sister and we got no answers we didn't even know what the body looked like until the end or at least a letter of found the journal yeah, yeah. Right? how did your opinion of the book change as you read it I think just Mac was like my big thing she's the only one who I really had a change of opinion on yeah maybe the old yeah. woman too because yeah. i wasn't I sure have a lot about of hate her, her. <laughs> yeah i i i never liked her from the beginning and i didn't like her towards the end either that was one constant huh. in the book the, the old woman but yeah. um she didn't what i was like she didn't bother me of course she didn't <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was just, she was just so, she was, I don't know, she was, she could have done so much to help both, um, well, well, I'm not going to say Alina now, but uh, Mac, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I well, she, <laughs> she probably could have prevented the murder. Shit. <laughs> yeah, she, she just, she just didn't do enough i think to help Mac. she was like it was like a, a hit at first sight thing with mac 
she just didn't like her, so she figured she's not even going to help her. Rowena had her own agenda throughout this whole thing, and I don't know. It, it just showed itself in the way she behaved with Mac. As for Mac, I agree with Z. I think um, and mainly because the book is mostly in her perspective. So we had that first part of the book where we absolutely have an intense dislike for Mac. And then gradually it changes because we can see her character kind of starting to develop. And you can see the potential of who she can, he, who she could have been. Which or would become. Weird, because she's telling the story from the past. So you would think... She'd make herself er, look a little better? Yeah. Because <laughs> like, it's now future, more mature Mac that's telling the story. <laughs> yeah, but still... she's telling it to you at the time. Which, well, she's still portraying it. To, I guess again to show character build up because she, when yeah. she came into when she came to Dublin, she was a total idiot. Like she <laughs> behaved that way. She she was annoying. She was small minded. She was I, I don't know. And as it progressed, I guess that was her way of showing that hey, I'm not this kind of <laughs> superfluous person anymore I've evolved into this person who is aware of herself and you know embraces her her I don't know independence and be, the ability for free thinking I guess <laughs> I don't know if I'll I don't know if it changes like Mac, though. you will I mean <laughs> eventually oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you can take book you five but you'll get there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a you will. If you continue the series, you will in the end. I think she comes into her own and oh she comes into her own at the end. It just takes a while for her to get there. Like she needs like you know that you have this one person, like you feel like you could give them a couple of taps behind the head for them to to understand themselves. I like, you know, what are you like thinking? That. Huh? I said I've played a few people like that. <laughs> yeah, like you need to give them a few taps. Like, what are you thinking? <laughs> but then eventually they realize, well, you know what? All these taps actually, actually, you know, amounts to something. You know, you shake something right <laughs> into them. That's what happens with her. Give them a gibbs upside the head. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us like... promoting violence. <laughs> Like she's gonna be fifty by the end of the series <laughs> for the maturity. Right. <laughs> <sighs> no, she becomes somebody that is is worthy of, you know, balance at the end. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I feel like that was a spoiler mm. alert. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think we all agree right now that like we're like Barons. What are you doing with this girl? <laughs> <Just book. laughs> we're team Barons. <laughs> so, uh, but that's that's interesting. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, just a process getting there. <laughs> <laughs> if you could ask the author anything, what would it be? What happened to Elena? <laughs> <laughs> we must know. <laughs> like, honest, I'm still convinced. Maybe she's not really dead. I don't know. I think. The more you say that, the more I kind of gravitate towards that. I mean, they didn't say how she died. And... Sully. Yeah? Because you read it. <laughs> is Atlanta dead? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't... <laughs> but is... Does she tell you... You want me to tell you? No, no, no. like... No, but yes. does she tell you more <laughs> information about Elena? Yes, in the ne the other books, you do get more information. She's alive. You do get more. Information. <laughs> <laughs> I just you do get more information about the situation surrounding the death of Elena and oh, the dead. being of Selena. Of uh, oh, who is Selena? <laughs> Elena. Selena. Yeah. We have a new character we didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So you do get more information. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I, I didn't know if it was gonna be like one of those books where they just totally forgot about like <laughs> The main plot <laughs> and just went I, off on a rampage. I you know? that so, so it's like, wait, yeah. what? Wait, what, what? What happened to the beginning? And then those questions from the beginning, it never got answered. And then it's the end of the book. What? Wait, what happened? It kind of sounds like it. Like the author wrote like three or four books, maybe five books. I was like, oh yeah, we should probably include that detail from the first book. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's basic she's basically in all of the all of the the books. There is reference to Alina. Mm. But um I mean there are so many things I want to say but I cannot say because it's it, it's not confined to the first book, so I cannot say it. But it's yeah. <laughs> You can whisper it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Dang it. Is Spark Notes still a thing? <laughs> Guys, move it. Mute. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. Mm. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I, I still think she's alive. Even though you're telling me, Sully, that... Like, I believe you, but I'm, like, going to be in denial until I, if I ever... Oh, I'm not... I, I have neither admitted... Oh, uh, the what is it? Oh, uh, denied. Denied? <laughs> denied. That Elena is alive or dead. I've I've said neither one. Well, if that was so. a political answer. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would be like such a good storyline if she was still alive. I don't know. It seems like it'd be too simple if she was dead. Maybe like, she really could dead. Eat some more sense in a Mac if she is alive. It would be helpful. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> but they could have been like a crime-fighting duo. And then Baron's be there. And then maybe Elena would find a new boyfriend that wouldn't try to kill her. I don't know. Or ruin the world. <laughs> right. She kind of got screwed in the love department. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> she did not have a very successful trip to uh, Ireland. Yeah, yeah. No, she did not. kind of feel bad for her. <laughs> How does the book's title work in relation to the book's contents? If you can it's... give the book a new title, what would it be? I, th I think the title works pretty well with what it but... is. It's dark-ish. It's pretty dark. Where did the fever come from? Eh, it's kind of like a fever dream. Uh, okay, that's right. When you put it that way. Because that was like dark fever and everything we talked about. Now what if that was all up, all the plot? What if it really was just yes? What if <laughs> that plot twist? What if it really was just all a dream? <laughs> I'd be yeah. really concerned about Mac then. <laughs> that's always, oh like, that's always my least favorite like theory on books and stuff. Like I read that one time about Harry Potter that it was like Harry just making this all up in his cupboard under the stairs, and that depressed me. Yeah, that that was sad. Okay, that yeah. that was so sad. I was like, that is the saddest thing I've ever heard. Like, I hope that's not what actually happened in this. <laughs> <laughs> like poor well, Harry. Kinda, um, the zombie show. Oh god, why well, can't I remember? The Walking Dead. <laughs> yes, thank you. The Walking <laughs> Dead. <laughs> wow. I think the the theory or the comic. I think I I could totally be wrong about this, but I think in the comics, it Rick is actually just in a coma and everything's just his dream. <laughs> That's so fucked That's up. That's a mess, but yeah. <laughs> Did this book remind you of any other books? No. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, it's a no for me. <laughs> no. That I did was, really like about the book. The story plotline was very unique. Yeah, I agree with that. But I, because I have read other fee-related books, there are some similarities. And I guess it, it's, it's more of like the, the, I guess the research that was put into the book. There was some, there was some similarities coming over from another, uh, another book, books that I've read. But for the most part, the storyline is a very unique one. I think when you have like any kind of like genre, but like niche book like that, mm -hmm. there's gonna mm -hmm. be like oh, carryover. Yeah, this reminds me of yeah. this. And 
that's the nice thing though with like the fairy books because I've read some other fairy books too and I think then I guess like the niche for fairies is so wide and can vary greatly compared mm-hmm. to like werewolves or vampires they're kind of more of a locked in what they can and can't do for the most part so the fairy books are it can be a little more they can sparkle now creative <laughs> yeah. yeah yes that's it. yes you can be a bit more creative with the fairies because of how wide it is you're right actually uh, it does there's so much you can do it it it, it does back with the imagination yeah so i do like that i like reading about fairies because of that aspect so i thought the author did a a really good job making her own plot line for this and and where she took it i just hate how those cliffhanger but you know (laughs) (laughs) do you think if this was a movie that it is something that you would want to watch yes with henry cavill as byron's (laughs) I don't know. I'm picturing the like the scenes <laughs> with the the prince. <laughs> like, yeah. well, I'm, I'm curious as to how they would be right. Some stuff would have to be edited. <laughs> yes. Oh, unless it is more like um more of an adult type movie because um there are certain things like in I know Castlevania is not really. A movie it's more of a, um, an anime series oh, yeah. but it's m- it's it is more geared towards an adult audience yeah mm-hmm. so it's something that could be done with that especially considering that there are free 11 parts of this book so they could totally make that into a mini series <laughs> i would watch it yeah, yeah. i think I, i'd probably i don't know i think it would have very strong potential but if it is done right yeah, I I feel like they also butcher it really badly. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> like it it was hard following the plot line reading the book. So I can only imagine how a movie or a show would be. <laughs> I think they definitely have to do it as a show. Yeah, yeah. and I think it would probably have. I from like the few scenes with the prince, it feels like the later books would be more sexual. So I feel like it would definitely would have to be an adult book or adult movie but that's just like my opinion where it seems like it would be it's starting I mean, to go i don't know like gossip girl is pretty never watch gossip girl what yeah me either oh wow selena woo <laughs> Watch the original and the reboot. <laughs> Shit. Wait, there, there's a, a reboot and a What? Yeah. I know there's Gossip Girl with Lake Lively. That's all I know. That's the original. Yeah. Okay. That's the original. Then, there's a there was a reboot that just came out recently. Yeah, I tried Which... watching it with Lake Lively, but I couldn't get into it. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I read the books though when I was younger, so. Hmm. Oh, they had books. Yeah. Yeah, I was like obsessed that with either. that. When I was in high school, it's just, it was not my like little niche of like what I would watch or read. I liked very more fantasy stuff, so I just it, it never called to me. I guess I just read whatever I could get my hands on. <laughs> also, none of my friends watched it, so I had no like. <laughs> I wasn't pressured into it either. You know, you're like. Because you guys, I think if we were talking back when you guys were watching, you'd be like, Ashley, you gotta watch the show. And I'd be like, mm, okay, I'll try it. I'll, I'll give it a better try. But didn't have that. <laughs> so, so I guess we're missing out. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you are. The original was awesome. All right. Oh, yeah. we, are, we are off on a whole other path again. <laughs> How did it impact you? Do you think you'll remember it in a few months or years? <laughs> so th- this is pretty relevant, considering we're like, uh... <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, listeners. <laughs> we recorded once and it turned out bad, and I swear we were much better then. <laughs> well, for me, no. I'm gonna- <laughs> No, I won't, simply because I, I tend to... I guess I read a lot, so it's not so- it's not something that I will sit and think back on. Like you know, there are some books that really hold you and hook you. I mean, even now I'm so cl- I'm close to the end of the series, and it's I know I know within myself. Six months down the line, I will not remember that I read 
dark fever at the beginning of the year. <laughs> because I would have moved on. Like It's something for, like, in the moment now. And if I had to, if somebody had to say to me, have you read, I would say, yeah, oh yeah, I read this book and whatever, whatever. But for me to say that um, it will hold enough um, sway over me to, to think no I won't I that's the honest truth I feel like mine's ingrained in my brain because I had so much hate for it for the <laughs> longest time <laughs> and then talking about it I'm like I'm probably never going to forget this book I, I, probably the one person who would like to <laughs> yeah I, I probably won't remember it <laughs> I'll probably be like I'll probably remember the name but like not in great detail. Yeah, I don't know if I'd reread it either. Like, maybe, I don't know. Maybe if, like, somebody a year or two from now was like, oh, I just read this book, Dark Fever, and I'd be like, oh, I read that. Maybe I'll read it again, because I don't really remember. I'm gonna do a pop quiz on you guys in one year. (laughs) (laughs) You won't remember anything. (laughs) Who do you most want to read this book? I think everybody should check it out. It, it's yeah. definitely it's definitely out of like my normal read, but I enjoyed it, even though I hated Mac. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's a it's a it's one of those it's a pretty good book to get into the Fae. Yeah, like, I agree because I'd never read anything to do with the Fae. Yeah, like the closest I've ever gotten was Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's. Probably the only fake book that I've read. And Tinkerbell at Disney. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much my extent on the fay. <laughs> oh, and Thumbelina. Oh, I Thumbelina. love Thumbelina. Is, is Thumbelina really a fairy? Well, I don't think she is, but she gets kidnapped by the fairy. And is she? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I, I remember, remember so, or maybe the fairy prince. I don't I know. Very, I it's been a long married. time. Yeah, maybe she married yeah. the fairy prince. I just remember she was kidnapped being, by like, the toad. Yeah, she got, yeah, she got kidnapped by a freaking wild animal, and then she was about to like get married to what are those oh. blind? Uh, no, those blind animals that live under the mole. The mole. Yeah, the mole. Oh, the mole has uh, captured her, and then she finally was able to run away, and then her prince fairy came to rescue her. Yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. To the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. recall the mole at all. This sounds disturbing. I remember, I don't know if it was a Disney movie or if it was like one of those almost Disney movies from the 80s and 90s. Almost <laughs> Disney? I like that. <laughs> you didn't make the cut. You're out. <laughs> no, I mean like one of those companies that made movies that were almost like Disney movies. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. Pixar. <laughs> no, it would have been before Pixar was around. I remember the "Marry the Mole" song. Wait, it had a song with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna sing, sing it for it. you because I don't actually remember the the lyrics, <laughs> but I just remember the "Marry the Mole." <laughs> I don't even remember that. Yeah, I just I just remember she was like, she was. Hand sewing her dress in the dark. And I the, don't remember that. The and, mole was? Uh, no, no. Thumbelina. Oh, okay. And she had the mouse to, like, she had the mouse to give her, like, all the stuff from outside because she wasn't allowed to go outside. Sounds That's right. very dark. <laughs> actually, Thumbelina is actually, I, isn't it a, an original Grimm's story? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not sure. Interesting. Mm, interesting. All right. I'm trying Let's to the remember book. like the the mother toad, what her name was. Charo. I remember her being the mother frog. The <laughs> name <laughs> Charo. I thought for some reason she was a rat. <laughs> no, they were toads. I can't remember. <laughs> I remember there being the toad. I didn't remember the mole until Carla said about the mole. But I, to me, I remember there being some rat. Uh, there was a beetle. Yeah, there there was actually a mouse and a rat. 
There was a field mouse. I'm looking up what year this was made. <laughs> I don't recall it. Oh, there, that's there why. There was a fox. Yeah, if you even say you weren't born yet, I'm going to punch you. I was one years old. <laughs> I'm going to punch you. <laughs> That's why I don't recall any of this. Oh, now I'm looking at the characters. I think I've only... No, I I don't even know if I've seen... Maybe once. Maybe once I've seen this movie. Who made this? <laughs> <laughs> Not Disney. I, I know it wasn't Disney. It's an almost Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I remember the fairy movie that was like the forest, like they were saving the forest. Of uh, uh, Fern Golly. Yeah, that one I remember more. And she was actually a fairy, I think. Yeah. Did you just say you were one year old when that movie, when that thing came out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did. Isn't that disgusting? No, wait, wait, wait. Because I'm looking and it's saying that it was 1835. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. no. So the, what? The 1994 oh, no, the, one. Yeah, the 1994. <laughs> I've aged very oh. well. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> That's just too funny. I'm secretly a vampire, guys. Surprise! <laughs> I don't glow or glitter. I don't sparkle. That's what I meant to say. I don't glow. I don't, <laughs> I don't glow. <laughs> Uh, I butchered that one, didn't I? Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the Fern Gully actually came out before Thumbelina. But, I don't know, I remember watching the Fern Gully more. That was another <laughs> path that we didn't need to go down. <laughs> um, Tension span right now, it's, it's right? great. Oh my goodness. Uh, are there any lingering questions from the book you're still thinking about? Everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Right. Everything. We we literally got no answers. Except from our questions. Wait, like, okay. How do we think Elena died? Because she, like, they described she was covered in blood. Like, there was blood everywhere. It was in bites, right? But they weren't, yeah. like, human or any animal they could identify. Yeah. And she, they said it was, like, all over her body. So many, mm. maybe the mini mouthed thing? I guess we didn't actually see or read a victim about the Minnie Mouse, did we? No. I just was picturing Minnie Mouse would like actually swallow what they ate, not just bite. But we don't know. I don't know. I think it was definitely some kind of a fae. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. If she's yeah. even dead. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe she's turning into a vampire, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> or werewolf. <laughs> Maybe it's all an illusion. We don't know. It's just a fever dream. Mm -hmm. Did you like the heat level of the book? No. No. <laughs> no. We got I it like all the, the wrong heat places. Levels between <laughs> Barons, yes. Between Barons and Matt, yeah, yes. Yeah, you can yeah. feel that. Yeah, yeah. All it could have been a bit more for me. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they could have definitely progressed a little more. But at the same time, I kind of like that it's slow for them. Yeah. I don't know. But but literally the heat was yeah. a little, like, cringing. Yeah, it was very heat. cringe. <laughs> <laughs> it was we even kind of like... hot pan in the oven. <laughs> It was even kind of like rapey. That was weird. Yeah, I yeah, um, yeah. no, I I was not a fan. Yeah. Like, okay, I have read a lot of like, what would you call those romance books? You know, yeah, exotic romance books. I've read a lot of those. Okay, I've never had one where I was like, uh, what the fuck did I just read? <laughs> I, I have not read a lot of those. Are not a typical book I read. So, it, well, it I like was, my romance books. <laughs> I mean, I've read some, and it was definitely, definitely one of the more cringier ones I've read. Yeah, I would, I would not put this at all on the same level. <laughs> yeah, this is like not even a romance book, but it had heat. That's what I think is conflicting. Yeah, 
Because yeah. it, it's not like anything romantic about it. It's just Ben is <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the photo? He gave me the look. <laughs> Something happens, and then, but no, this one was like, bam! Naked in the, in the middle of the museum. <laughs> oh my I think God. that was the worst part, which is like, everybody saw. What Dude, was. that's the part that made me hate Rowana. Yeah. Yeah. What? Like, what would she have done? Like, but I have this question now, as, as, I can't remember completely, but... In the museum, when this was happening to Mac and Rowena could see, why wasn't the whatever it is that was affecting um, Mac af Mac affecting Rowena as well? Because he may have, you know, blocked off everybody else, but she yeah. is a she seer, and she was supposed to have been affected as well. Oh, dum, no, dum, I figured dum. it like, as, like the prince was like really just like. Only putting his powers towards Mac. No, but it's not something that he can um, concentrate on one person only, because she, he, she, Rowena is the headmistress of the Shisias, so she's supposed to be able to see through the glamour. I mean, and she was for her to be able to see that this is what was affecting Mac. So why wasn't she, Rowena, affected as well? <laughs> Maybe she killed Elena if Elena actually died. Oh. I would not put that past her. Maybe she didn't like how Elena no. was messing with not the Dark Lord, Lord Master. Lord Master. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe she didn't like that Elena was with Lord Master and thought she was a liability and took her mm -hmm. out, like, had the Fae take her out. Oh, Mac will totally kick her ass if that's what happened. Maybe. If we ever find out. Hmm. I hadn't considered that angle. I, I like that one, though. That's the one I'm going with. So now, <laughs> so now Elena is dead? Well, no. If Elena's dead. <laughs> it was Rowana. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, I, now I wonder if, like, Rowana will actually, like, start to attack Mac or, like, start plotting towards Mac. I think if so. If Mac isn't gonna cooperate with Rowana's rules. I think so. Or, yeah. So are we looking at like so the, there's the Lord Master who's like trying to get all the the prison fairies out into the world. So that's like one group, or, or I guess like not a, well, I mean a one group, faction. but like one faction. And then you have like the prince that is messing with Mac, and I don't think he's with Lord Master, but maybe they are in cahoots. And then you have Barons who whatever the fuck he is, <laughs> and I mean he wants the book, but. We don't really. I, I, at least I didn't really figure out what he wants the book for. I other don't than... think he wants it for anything nefarious, though. No. Like it, I don't. It's it revealed later on why he wants the book. Yeah, I just feel like it's not nefarious. No, I don't. And I don't get. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't get. Um, I mean, you get danger and and kind of you know bad vibes from Barons and he boy. will yeah but he's I don't I don't get like evil from him right I get that he will mess you up right if he has to but I do not get evil from him at all and then who's yeah. the next who's the next person you guys were saying we oh and then as you say the the old lady the mate that's like in charge and then you also have Rowena. Like, yeah. like you kind of have all these different Malusi. Yeah. Right, and then we had Rocky O'Bannon as well. But he's I mean, he, taken out. He, yeah, but then he was part of it. He was part of it. And what about that guy in the mansion that they went to? Dad. To me, he brought her to this mansion. Dad. What did we meet Rocky O'Bannon? I think it was with Rocky that had the mansion. Or the no. vampire. No, no. He, he brought her to some party at a slick mansion out in the country. Yeah, it oh, was I very it was modern. Rocky's place. Didn't wasn't Rocky 
wasn't I... Rocky the the mafia guy they went to the the restaurant with? Did they go back to his mansion though? Like after they left no. the restaurant? I can't remember. Well, I, no. it was the, I think it was the I know what you're talking about, Sully. I'm like I don't remember who they were seeing though. I remember the I remember them going to the mansion though. Yeah. And, like that's... there was like the the people were in the first room and they're like wasn't I could be getting books mixed up here. But wasn't like something weird was happening there and then um she was like me... more sophisticated. Yes, she was really she was she dressed up, she cleaned up really nicely and he brought her there and he had her cuz she could sense the power the you know the OPP or whatever it is. And um he brought her there and that guy had the rhino boys as guards without knowing that they were rhino boys. Like they were not even glamoured. Oh, see, I think I was getting him mixed up with Rocky. Oh my god, now I don't even know. And <laughs> this is a book we literally just read. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly because I remember that scene and I always thought that scene was with Rocky unless I misread it. So <laughs> that's why I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. I know there was a time she like she went to the mansion and she was really she um Fiona got her this dress for her to wear. Yeah. And then And like, she went with Barons. And I think it was like the first time Barons really kind of like acknowledged that, oh you look nice. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was yes. with Rocky also. Yeah, I thought that was Rocky. Like and then like the very first seat like wasn't something like weird kind of like sexually happening in that first room and they're like, Oh, you can participate well, I think and that like, was, oh, there's better stuff. I think that happening. was Mar- with Mal- Maluse. Oh, okay. Was that? Huh. Oh well. <clears throat> We're doing great. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> was the couple's connection believable? And if so, at what point did they click for you? When he was painting her nails. I know. That's, what I, that's what I like. Loved Barrett's. Oh, it was so sweet. Yeah, it was really cute. But it's still like. <laughs> What, they weren't full on couple couple at that point either, though. True. At least they're I felt like they're still not full on couple couple. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> That's like the heat level. I think could have been like up a little bit for that, but. Well, then she, you know, passed out, puked and passed out. So. <laughs> <laughs> Guess there really wasn't a lot of time for heat. That's true. It's so romantic. All right. What do you think happens to the leads after the ending? I feel like Mac's gonna get, like, kidnapped at some point. Yeah, I definitely think Mac could definitely <laughs> walk into a kidnapping. <laughs> I think the, the the prince is gonna kidnap her. Yeah. Pretty fucking shady. <laughs> or the, the old lady that... Yeah, I think she's gonna kill Delina. kidnapping her, too. Or possibly the Lord Master. But, what, but to what end would Rowena kidnap her? I, like, I, I'm uh, to trying her. to think kill okay maybe she doesn't like maybe like she doesn't want barons to have the book and maybe when she gets like really close or, or she when uses she uses her she, as a bargaining chip yeah well if, do we the like, lead well the leads do go through a lot after but then like i said it is what shapes them some of it um if you read on you'll be like some of it is a bit horrifying. So it's disappointing. Some, it's a little bit disgusting. And some <laughs> some things you would you would you would wonder to yourself, like if I was in that situation, is this something that I would do? That type of thing. Mm-hmm. But at the end, it does. I don't know. It, it from for Mac, it it rips her down to her core and makes her rebuild herself again. Okay, I was just gonna ask, like. What do we think Barons is? <laughs> I I I think Barons is a druid. Ooh. What makes you think that? Um, probably nothing from book one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like. He's definitely something. The fact that he can walk in the dark zone without being attacked, and it seems like he kind of has some kind of power over them a little bit. I feel like he like almost could be like prince of some level. Or of like the dark like I almost like uh, there's the prince that keeps messing I keep forgetting his name that messes with Mac right and okay. I see him as like the soul uh, um, Seely court 
right? Uh-huh. And then there's, I th- I almost feel like Barons would be like an unseelie, like he has more control of his powers, but then I guess Mac can, would be able to sense that, huh? Yeah. yeah, but then they've never shown any unseelie that is as attractive as Barons is. So far, all the unseelie that they've ever mentioned were like hideous, oh, horrifying sweet. creatures. Well, that's what made me think maybe he was a prince. Like he would, the rules are kind of a little different for him. Versus like the rest of the NC League. But why? Well, <laughs> that, we, we cannot assume anything in this because we we, we don't know yet. That's just my so theory. We can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like sh- everything could happen in this book. Anything and everything's fair game. So <laughs> yeah, well that's true too. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I know I'm not following our question line, but what? Who had the freaking book? Because at the end of the story, at the end of the book, it was like somebody drove by the Baron's ho- or bookstore and she could feel the book that they were all searching for. And it was coming out of the dark zone. Another tum 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 <laughs> moment. <laughs> it was also weird she didn't feel the book in the dark zone when she was in the dark zone. Maybe it wasn't there at the time. Unless, like, the Lord Master already had the book, and he's in cahoots with somebody else and was, like, delivering it to them. Could be. Hmm. I don't like that you know the answer. (laughs) (laughs) It's like Mac, she knows the answers, and I'm like, just tell me already. (laughs) Make me wait till the end of the book to find out when you could have told me at the beginning. Would you fall for either of the leads? Yes. Not (laughs) Mac. (laughs) <laughs> not Mac. Yeah. Well, not, not Mac, but yes. <laughs> definitely. Uh, definitely Barons. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, most definitely Barons. I think that's like the only person <laughs> that is like worth even like having a relationship with. Everyone's just, they're dead or they're evil. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we'll go for the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Did this book melt your heart and make you believe in love again? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Negative. No. Was it supposed to? It definitely, yeah, it's definitely not one of those books. <laughs> yeah, it, it is not. I feel like. I hope that it's not true for the whole series because I feel like that could definitely happen if it's the author lets it. It makes me a little sad if it doesn't happen. Apparently I like mushy love stories. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rooting for Mac and Barons. It's just slow as fuck. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> they have great potential for an ultimate love story though. They do. Yeah. Will it be X? You can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> That's only if they don't die first. Right. I hope he's up there. That would be shitty. Yeah. I've read a book like that I mean, once. <laughs> I've actually read a books like that too. <laughs> <laughs> Did this book compel you to read the next one? Yes. Yes, it definitely compelled me to read the next one. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I... Wh- I did have a lot of hate for it. It's not as much now. And because I can't get the stupid book off my mind, like, maybe. I maybe come back to it and start book two. But I wouldn't hold my breath for it. Book two is a lot better. Yeah, I will say book two is a lot better. It's not I'm just gonna try to, to get, get through. I'm yeah. just trying to try to get Sully to tell me what happens. <laughs> <laughs> the Sully notes. All right, I don't know. Is there anything else you guys want to discuss about the book? Nope. Oh, is the vampire? Do you guys think he's really a vampire? I don't think so. No? I feel like he is, especially because we saw him with Lord Master. At least not, like, in the sense of vampire we think of vampire. I mean the glittery kind? <laughs> Why can I never say the right word? <laughs> the glowing kind? No, totally not. <laughs> totally not. This is the sparkly glittery glowing kind <laughs> I'm sorry I, like I really like Twilight but why the hell do they have to sparkle like <laughs> is they're shiny like a diamond <laughs> I mean like I kind of 
like that with Twilight that like it wasn't the traditional like burn to dust if they go out in the daylight. <laughs> like it was definitely it was an interesting take on that. But at this so point, what happened? Then? Wait, you've never read Twilight? No. You ever, <gasps> have you ever watched Twilight? <laughs> no, definitely not. Totally. Definitely. I don't like the lead actress in it. She looks to me. She just she looks like this timid little. I don't know. I don't like her looks, so I never bought. I'm like, I'm okay. I'm not even going to watch anything with her in it, and I don't. I don't but know if I um, recommend the movies, well, but the book, I'm surprised you didn't read, just because it was so popular when it first came out. No, I have never read. I didn't even know it was a book. I highly suggest <laughs> reading the books. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, but tell me how did how how they pop? How did <laughs> how did they die? <laughs> how do they die, guys? <laughs> well, you have to. Their head gets cut R- off. Yeah, you have to like rip them apart and then burn them. Oh wow, that sounds difficult. And then <laughs> poke around in the ashes, <laughs> make sure nothing comes back. Are you really dead? <laughs> oh my god, that's similar. Okay, no, um, no, no, no. You- I added the the poke around in the ashes bit. <laughs> oh, because I was going to say that's just like in. Did you get to that part in the book? Yeah, where Baron says, "Okay, yeah." Shit, maybe we should have read Twilight for next book. <laughs> I can't believe you never read Twilight, Sully. I, I, I was like in middle school when this book came out, and it was like, I w- in my school, I was one of the first to read it, and then it got really popular. But I loved it as a teen or preteen, I'm, whatever. I, I was like, obsessed. I feel like I was out of school when Twilight the book came out. I don't God, remember. that makes me so old. Uh, I, I, I think. Oh, go ahead, Jerry. I said, I don't remember when. I read it. All I know is, like, when I read it, I fell, I fell in love with it, and I. It was, it's like it's the second book, just like Harry Potter, where I would read it over and over and over and over and over again. That's Twilight. Uh, yeah, Twilight. I, I cut it. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I was out of high school when Twilight came out. It came out the year I graduated. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, because I was I was definitely middle school, and I I, I always you. felt like <laughs> I, I kind of well, I was just gonna say like I felt like she kind of ri- like wrote it for maybe that age group, like the teen, but then like as she ri- wrote the other ones, like the maturity line, I think went up, and that was kind of like I grew up with the book, if that makes sense. That's how I feel about Harry Potter, though. Yeah. No. Oh. It was just I I always loved Twilight. I will, even though it's bad. <laughs> no, I, you know what? I give Twilight a reread occasionally too. My favorite is The Host by Stephanie <gasps> Myers. I love The Host. Right, and it's right where I grew up. She talks about it, and I'm like, I I know exactly where she's talking about, and it yeah. like it makes me more obsessed. Yeah. Yep. I even liked the movie. Like I thought the movie was decent too. I don't remember the movie as much. I don't think it stuck as well. I think it clarified some scenes for me Oops. with like how it looked because I had a hard time grasping, but I loved the host. I think I, I may have read it. It so it wants to sound familiar to me. The host? The host. Yeah. I think I, I do. Is it something they have to go into like a cave system? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah, she they, they okay, do go then, into yeah. caves. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then, aliens. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then definitely, yeah, definitely read it. I'm surprised you read that one, but not Toilet. Yeah, because I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for reading off our shelf in the dark corners. We traveled to another world with dark fever. Lights, Lights out. out. it makes you feel better my dog is farting underneath my desk and it stinks